uh, I think the war has the unfortunate byproduct of, um, of, of tossing religion in a very, very powerful way into the mix. And I think what Putin probably never counted on is that it's imaginable. I, I can't, obviously, I don't know whether it's going to happen or not, but it's imaginable that really one of the byproducts of this war could be the creation of an independent Ukrainian church. And then what would be the status of those parishes and those lavra and those monasteries and the like that are located in Ukraine? Um, that would be an enormous loss for the Russian Orthodox Church if there was uh, a break uh, there. Um, it would be an enormous loss on many, many, many levels. As I said, I don't know whether that'll happen, but um, I think Putin has moved that closer to happening by launching um, this undeclared uh, ongoing war in eastern Ukraine. I'm not quite certain how the Orthodox are going to sort this out, and I think that's one of the reasons why they haven't sorted it out. There's no easy answers. Um, uh, you know, you mentioned the the conference that took place in Toronto on global orthodoxy. I mean, there's orthodox communities, uh, multiple orthodox communities, not uh, in Ukraine but elsewhere in the world, and um, and how uh, authorities and uh, are going to be recognized in all of these different orthodoxies, and whether they each get their own patriarchate, and if so, uh, you know how these patriarchates are going to relate together. Um, these are very, very, very complex questions with enormous ramifications. Um, and I think one of the reasons why this persists as a question is because there's, there's no obvious answers.